I am Mike Stanton. It's July 23rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. Uh, this was an interesting week in the markets. Uh, people rediscovered some of the risk of COVID with the spread of the Delta variant. How did interest rates uh, respond? Sure. And, and we saw an initial early in the week uh, concern over the Delta, as you say, the Delta variant. Um, with a uh, pretty large stock market sell-off and with that, the flight to quality in the treasury side. 10-year treasuries hit a low of the week of a 112, which is uh, a, a pretty good rally uh, through the course of the past couple months. Um, we've seen since a little bit of a, uh, stability within the treasury markets and currently the 10-year treasury is at a 128. So a little bit of a reversal on that as the week has gone on. And the ratios of munis to treasury stayed pretty much pegged in the 65% range. It seems like that's a, a relationship that uh, the market's comfortable with. Yeah, and it, you know, it's historically extremely rich um, and we're holding these levels. And I think we're in a period of combination of things with the um, uh, seasonal strong period of June, July, August. We're in the middle of that, which is providing a good backstop. Um, we're seeing consistent billion plus inflows. This past week, we saw a 1.7 billion inflow uh, once again, and we're seeing a, a, a steady calendar with next week's calendar expected to be 7.1 billion. So that, that overall backdrop I think is providing and will continue to provide a, a good backdrop for people's comfort investing in the municipal asset class. Um, the variables that people are looking at also add uh, pretty favorably to municipals with uh, the prospect of um, higher tax rates. Um, it hasn't been as talked about recently, but it's something that people are expecting. And that's a great point about uh, individual interest in munis because of uh, tax uh, implications. We saw a headline about that in the Wall Street Journal. And sometimes we talk about the muni market as a headline driven market. And there were a bunch of them this week. There was a headline on Bloomberg about increased interest in insured munis because of public uh, in the public higher education sector. There was that headline in the Wall Street Journal. And of course, the headlines about the infrastructure package still under negotiation in Washington. How is that translating to uh, market behavior? Yeah, and, and that's the... Um, that's the issue is people are trying to uh, look forward and see what kind of plans, um, the impact that these various proposals will have on, in, in the market. You know, one of this uh, 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 estimates this week was that if the government plan uh, passes a stimulus plan, including a direct subsidy plan that we could see additional issuance anywhere from 250 billion to 880 billion um, which is pretty staggering. That would be taxable paper. Um, the tax exempt market in turn would lose some of that supply. And this is over a three or four year period, but it's pretty, pretty big numbers. Um, and I think people's general feeling of that would be the tax exempt, the traditional tax exempt market would actually benefit um, through those kind of programs. So Brian, uh, we're not up to $800 billion of new issuance yet. Uh, this week uh, it was a little over 10, I think this past week and 70 as you said ahead. What, uh, what are you seeing on new issue prices? Yeah, you know, and uh, uh, Bloomberg Intelligence actually put out a, a good piece in their chart pack this week about, uh, you know, a little bit of an underwhelming uh, first half uh, in terms of uh, muni supply and uh, will likely need to see uh, a pretty robust second half, um, you know, maybe even uh, seasonally higher than expected uh, issuance in the fall to kind of get even close to where some of the initial estimates were for the year. But you're right, we saw another, you know, 10 to 11 billion or so in supply this, uh, this week. Uh, the taxable component of that was only about 15% at uh, around 1.7 billion. Uh, and there was a pretty robust competitive market uh, at about three and uh, almost three and a half billion. Uh, but overall, you know, it felt like with all the volatility that Dan was just outlining, um, you know, this was really kind of the first week, despite the fund flows uh, of 1.7 billion, despite, you know, continued uh, maturities and redemptions uh, through the summer period. Um, this, this week felt kind of a little bit less, I, I won't say uh, weak or shaky, but less strong than it has. Uh, there was definitely an impact on the new issue side of things uh, where it was a little bit tougher to get deals done. Um, you know, all things considered, uh, the market did stay constructive, but, um, uh, but it was a little bit 
uh, less uh, shooting fish in a barrel <laughs> than it has been uh, over the last uh, several weeks or so. But um, but overall, uh, you know, a good uh, solid week supply wise. Again, at 11 billion, BAM had a solid week over 160 million in uh, par insured. Some of the highlights for us this week were a $34 million transaction for Linwood USD, which was priced by Stiefel, uh, and then a, a $15 million deal for Miami Lake Stormwater, which was a BAM Green Star deal uh, and priced by uh, Raymond James. Um, next week, uh, you know, a little bit lighter on the calendar, about $7.2 billion scheduled to price. Uh, taxable component goes up uh, by, you know, on a percentage basis to about 26%. Uh, at just under $2 billion. Uh, and again, another uh, fairly robust uh, competitive calendar at, at $2.1 billion. Uh, our, uh, our activity will be highlighted by a $48 million uh, deal for La Mesa Spring Valley USD in California, uh, which is going to be priced by RBC. Great. Well, thanks uh, for your time, gentlemen. We'll, uh, we'll get back here next week. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 